I was an idiot stupid. First of all, think of 17 as being eight mentally. Um, he was my favorite movie star yeah. at school. Uh, he was the equivalent today of George Clooney or Brad Pitt. He was very good looking, extremely charismatic. And when I met him, introduced at a nightclub by Lawrence Harvey, I was knocked out. And when he called me the next day at the studio, uh, where I was filming, I asked me out. I mean, I was amazed and gosh, this is the man that I told my school girlfriends, I'm going to marry him one day. And so I met him and he took, and we, the incident happened and I wrote about it all in my book. I blocked it from my mind. I married him because of total guilt, because of the fact I couldn't tell my parents, I couldn't tell any of my friends. We continued to have a relationship, but it, uh, there was very little of that side that mm. went on. But I was so thrilled with being out with a real life movie star at 17, and that I kind of blocked aside all the other stuff because my mother had really said, you know, men, men are beasts, men only want one thing. Mm -hmm. And you get that ingrained in yourself. And then he had an operation. Uh, uh, he had a slip disc and he became impotent. And that was before. Then he asked me to marry him and he told me it was my fault that he was impotent because of the fact that... Wow. But you say you blocked all of this out. <clears throat> yes. I mean, the, the, surely there must have been some psychological fallout Definitely. from that throughout your life. I think it probably, I think probably there was, I think that there probably was a, a great feeling of not being able to trust men because when I married him I found out how really abusive he was. Mm. I mean I used to be physically abused, physically mm. assaulted and the final straw was, I, I think you know this, when he tried to sell me for £10,000 to a shake. <laughs> And that's when I went running yeah. home. Um, I blocked, I have a brilliant uh, way of being able to block things out. I've had a lot of terrible things happen in my life. And they go into a department says we don't go there. And so I've be, been able to block it out. Um, but it, when I talk about it, when I think about it, when I think about that little stupid girl, I, I just want to say to any other girls who are out there, mm. don't let it happen. Don't go to somebody's house. Don't let him give you a drink, and uh, which could possibly be spite. Mm. And I know there's a lot of that going on. And what can we do to stop it? I well, mean, feel free well, to do, 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 do now what we're saying. We've said so. You must talk out uh, yeah. about yes. it. If something happens, these... if you believe that you have been treated inappropriately, yeah. you must tell someone. Absolutely, and get these animals behind bars because, so that they don't do it again. But men think that it's a lot of men think that it's just acceptable. The stroking and the hands down. The, I'm so yeah. glad. That it's coming out now. People like famous actors and well, performers. We should talk about the, the reason that you, you felt so important to lend your voice to this documentary, which is available on Netflix. It's called Brave New World, um, and I think you know if it Brave Miss World. If if you hadn't have lent your voice to it, I don't know how much publicity it would have got so this is this is an extraordinarily brave thing that you've done here i think you're a survivor joan and well I, I am and i'm the last of the survivors well, i'm an absolute survivor, survivor I because that's a I very am, important message yes because i've had a, a, a loads of awful things happen um i wanted to help i wanted to do something um to help women and i wanted to be able to say don't let it happen mm. go to the police go to your social worker Try, and if you are abused in your home, which, God knows how many women are, so many, Philip, mm. so many, uh, go to a refuge, and there are not enough. And we made a petition to Parliament uh, last month to try and open more refuges for women and their children. Mm. And the children are abused as well. And the mm. children are tortured sometimes in front of the mother as a, as a, uh, to punish them. Mm. It's, um, mm. it's so important that you came here today, so important that you talked about it. As, as you say, that, uh, that documentary, Brave Miss World, is available on Netflix. Um, and, uh, and thank you very much indeed, Thank Joan. you. Thank you. So here's Jan in our lovely updated LBD. Very sophisticated, Everybody Jan. loves a little black dress. They feel very safe in it, so do I. But this is just adding that little element of sparkle so that you still feel like...